You have got to hear what Bailey had to say about a crucial WWE decision and its importance in this video. I am telling you, you are going to want to stick around to hear what Bailey had to say about this. Because when I saw it, I instantly knew, okay, I have to bring this to you guys. I have to talk about it because it's so significant. Bailey has been on the forefront. She has been in the trenches along the numerous names. And you can go down the list that have been such a crucial and important role in the women's revolution, right? We started with the revolution, the evolution, and now the golden era of women's pro wrestling. Bailey, along the sides of Mercedes Monet and Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch, they've been on the forefront of this. And we're at this interesting time, and Bailey is in the thick of it, where WWE is giving women more of an opportunity to succeed and to shine and to give them a platform in which they can get over further within the eyes of the fan base. They've introduced a secondary women's championship with the Women's U.S. Championship, something in which we're going to get our inaugural champion crowned at Saturday Night's Main Event on December 14th. Now, Bailey, she has just had an absolute banger of a year. Think about it. She won the Women's Royal Rumble match. She feuded with her own faction in which she created. She defeated EO Sky for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania 40 and then had a multiple month reign as champion before ultimately losing it to Nia Jax at SummerSlam, right? And I understand that there's been a little ups and downs when it comes to Bailey's booking as of late, something in which WWE and Triple H have, well, they caught a little flack because of, right? You had her put over Nia Jax, you had her put over Candice LeRae on a SmackDown, like, ugh, just roll your eyes booking. But since then, they've had Bailey defeat Candice LeRae. They've had her win a women's U.S. Championship tournament match, right? They're getting their focus back on her. Now, Bailey recently spoke with Brad Gilmore of Reality of Wrestling for a new interview in which she was promoting the Royal Rumble. Ironically, she's going to try to repeat as a women's Royal Rumble match winner. Now, during the interview, and this is where this video picks up, Bailey recalled her own Royal Rumble win and the introduction of the Women's U.S. Championship. The inaugural champion, as I mentioned, will be crowned on Saturday Night's Main Event. And when it comes to this championship, you have to keep in mind that Bailey who started a revolution down in NXT, who her and mercedes Monet absolutely just pounded the door at, and this is something which we'll talk about in a minute, trying to get WWE to introduce women's tag team championships, she was one of the reasons why it happened, right? You, of course, had to have her support. You had to have mercedes Monet support. You had to have the fan support. But at the end of the day, Bailey and mercedes Monet were crucial in that. So let's get into this. She said this, I didn't push for it, meaning the U.S. Championship, as much as I did the women's tag team titles. Like those tag team titles, we were at the door every single week. We had pitches. We had teams together. We were there every single week for months. I can fully say that we were like, you know, the ones who made it happen. We weren't stopping until it happened. But with this one, it was more of the ones I would say in interviews. And that's only because I believe we can carry a secondary title like that. I believe the division is ready for it. I believe... Excuse me. I also wanted to see the women's tag team titles grow as well. It's hard to say I want another title when I still think there's much work to be done with the tag team titles. So it was hard to say let's have another one when the one still needs to be watered down a little bit. Right now, I feel like it's a good place. Jay Cardio, Bianca Belair, they're really elevating those titles. And we have so many great tag teams. I feel like the women get an opportunity and they've been put in tag team picture. They're really, really focused on tag team wrestling, and it's a very different, it's very different than singles wrestling. So, if you look at what she had to say here, there's a few different things. One of which she took a subtle shot at WWE and its booking of the women's tag team titles, and rightfully so. I said this in a recent inter, or a, excuse me, a recent video, and it I think it stands true to this day. When it comes to women's tag team titles, it depends on who's the champions, is how WWE books them, right? If you have Mercedes Monet and Bayley as champions, or you have Jay Cardiel and Bianca Belair as champions, funny enough, those titles mean something. They're booked on television nearly every week. They have title defenses on television at PLEs. They're in programs. They're in feuds. They build up worthy contenders for the champions. But if they're not, then 
they don't matter. WWE does not look at those titles the same way. If the Iconics are the champions, or Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are the champions, or um, you know, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire are champions, it's not the same. They're not booked the same. When it comes to this women's title for the, the secondary division, that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, right? Because the purpose of the women's U.S. championship is two different fronts. You have a situation in which you have talent who we believe that they can be top stars. They're not ready to be top stars just yet, but we need to give them something to do that makes them, A, get more experience, and B, build up value within the eyes of the fan base. The other forefront of the title is, okay, we have talent who they're not top-tier talent. They're never going to be top-tier talent, but they're really, really good. They're upper carters. And we need them, we need something for them to do. We need them to make other people. And it also gives people other storylines other than, hey, I'm going to wait for a championship match in six months, right? It gives them a purpose to be on television. It gives a purpose to book matches. It gives purpose to build up future talent. That's what this title is designed for. It's beautiful. The IC title, the U.S. Championship that's what these titles are designed for. Um, I understand that the IC title back in the day was known as the workhorse title. Maybe the women's U.S. championship can be, but man, that women's division is so stacked these days. That would be a hard, hard thing to try to top. But Bailey, her talking about how it's hard to advocate for a secondary women's championship when WWE doesn't necessarily do the greatest job with the women's tag team titles, they are absolutely spot on or she's spot on with that assessment with that breakdown with that opinion because it's true it goes back to who holds the titles well that's how that's going to dictate how we book the champions how we go about our storylines and our programs and our feuds and our our weekly television she's a thousand percent right and so what do you do you have to build up worthy tag teams to overcome the champions You can't just slap two single stars together and then be like, golly, they're not working as a tag team two weeks in. It doesn't work like that. Just like with this women's championship, I mean, there's a lot of notable names in this tournament, right, as a recording of this video. Uh, Your Bianca Belairs, your Jay Cargill's, your Naomi's, your Tiffany Stratton's, your Bailey's. Those are really, really big names. And you have to have a big name win the championship, I believe, or a name that, in the case of like a Tiffany Stratton, where fans go, okay, she's not a top star yet, but she's going to be one day, hold the championship to get the championship kick-started off in a way in which people A, care, and have a built-in prestige behind it.